Hi, it's Alfonso from AXM again, and this time I'm going to uh, talk about the new updated Raptors engines for the uh, engine section of the Starship MK1. As you might know, I released the Starship model MK1 like a year ago, and um, at that time I didn't have much of a reference in order to build the Raptor engines. Although the pictures were quite overwhelming to replicate a little paper model of it, so I desisted and I made a very simple um, uh, nozzle um, Raptor model. But after, uh, but lately I came across with, uh, um, with more information, especially from uh, a guy who uh, is making very, uh, accurate detailed uh, drawings of uh, the Starship models and with his sketching I, I noticed that there was a, uh, a more accurate depiction of the uh, bulkhead and uh, and the Raptors that uh, through his permission I used that uh, sketching that drawing in order to help me modify my original um, uh, model. So here it is. This is how it looks now. It still has it still has to be attached to the Starship um, bottom section, the engine section. So it looks very complicated, but uh, but you know my philosophy when I design some the models is to make it very simple, but at the same time they have to look complex. And so here are three Raptor models, and this these are the parts. So here this is the nozzle section for the three nozzles here for three Raptors. It's a back print, so once it's printed, you could see that they are colored on in the inside of the nozzle. And look it's so simple these are actually the parts that make the uh, the Raptor basically two cylinders here these parts this is another cylinder that goes on the top these two parts go together this is a little cone these little circles are the top and bottom of this cylinder and basically that's it um, the drawings actually Gave, gives the effect of complexity to the model. And here these are the um, gimbal struts that have to be cut accordingly. And these are the little tubings that needs to be uh, put together. And it gives the impression of a very, very complex model. But in essence, it's uh, quite simple, the design, and very limited number of parts that make the entire Raptor. All right, so let's dig in and um, I'll show you how to assemble one of these Raptors. All right, 